All right, how we do, folks? Your boy, Marcos, and your five numbers after the name. Pick this game up here, second half, man. Put the Preta against uh, uh, whatever the hell the other team was over here. Me and five, we, we always play random, right? We always like to get a couple games in there, random, three or four games with random teams. And it's literally luck of the draw. And more often than not, we kind of get this, the same kind of type of team. Um, so I'm playing as both the Preta, the team over here in black. He's playing the team in red. Um, I forget where his team's from. I think mine, I want to say mine was like Brazilian, but I, I don't even think it is, man. I want to talk a little bit about Barcelona, man. I did my last video on. Um, I'm around Madrid a little bit of this start of the season and whatnot. And to do a quick hit here on Barca. Obviously, I'm not as well versed about Barcelona. Um, but, you know, if, if we go and look at how this 2016 starts, a little bit of an up and down season. You know, they, they had some pretty bad losses. I think they lost to, to Alaves um, at home in the Camp Nou, which is almost unheard of, honestly. They've just been, to me, they seem they've been a little bit lackadaisical. Uh, is, is really all it is. And some guys haven't been to, like, the top of their, uh, of what they could do, you know. And specifically, I'm looking at a guy like Neymar. Uh, for example, and they also I think miss Messi for a little bit I want to say, uh, but not not anything too crazy. Uh, I mean, I don't know. He gets her off and on. But Neymar to me is really the key, right? The guy hasn't scored in a minute. There's some off-field concerns about parting and whatnot. Uh, defensively, there's always still those gaps behind that they've been leaving. Um, and in the middle of the field, although they've been holding the ball, I'm doing the bottom thing. They haven't been that great. Now they're in a great position. I feel like they got a good draw in the uh, in the Champions League. Uh, they're second in the league with six points up to catch the Madrid. They probably should have beat Madrid at that game when Sergio Ramos was tied in the 90 something minute, and then there would have been three. So I, I definitely wouldn't panic. They got a tough draw in the in the in Copa del Rey with Atlético Bilbao. So I'm really interested to see how they pull up over here in 2017, and I fully expect them to be in the top three of the world when you go and look at them here, man. They they're just that good. The Ball Marcos, man. That's my boss to talk and the cat.